we're going to run through a landscape um, from start to finish and just try to put it all together. Uh, this will be the first part and it'll get you about halfway through. So as always, we begin with a gesture and that's just kind of laying everything out. Usually you start with the horizon or the most obvious horizontal ground line. Um, if you're drawing something hilly, definitely start with the horizon. It may not have anything to do with the rest of the drawing, but go from there. Then we're gonna go into the most obvious shadows to give us some landmarks, because sometimes with a lot of trees like this, you kind of forget which tree is which. Um, and when you work on the ground, all it takes to establish a ground is a few horizontal lines um, and a horizontal and a tone. Um, I tend to build up the tone with horizontal marks for a flat ground like this. It just makes more sense to do it that way. So as the drawing progresses, what I want to do is begin to start to push in some darks because trees are pretty dark. Um, if you look at them against the sky, they're much darker overall, even where they get light on them. So you want to be sure that you have enough room to get some deep, deep shadows in there so that the light side of the trees look fairly dark as well. Um, and to make this kind of look a little bit realistic, what you need to do in this stage is be uh, specific, but not to the point where you're drawing every leaf and outlining any particular tree. You're still in the, the stage of the drawing where you're working from general to increased specificity. So you want to be careful not to be overly specific, like deciding on it is. So you notice with a lot of these marks, even though they're going by fast, all of the marks go counter to the direction of an edge. So if I'm working on the bottom edge where the ground plane meets the tree line, you'll notice that the that the angles are going kind of against that a little bit. Um, and that's kind of what we want to keep through the rest of the drawing. Um, the other thing that you're looking at is the motion of the trees. It was kind of windy today, so there's a little bit of animated motion. So when I built up the tone, I was thinking about kind of the motion of the trees uh, as they are actually physically moving. Um, if they're not moving and it's windy, you still have a motion. Basically, the tree grows up, the branches sag down, um, and you go from there. So what you're wanting to do is create a, a texture for each tree. Um, and the texture should kind of change as you go along. Some trees will have kind of a harsher texture. Some will be a little bit smoother. And the way you build up texture is through marks. Uh, you could use the marks of, um, of the paper itself um, and rely on the paper texture. You can use uh, the side of the pencil, you can use the tip of the pencil. I prefer drawing with the side of the pencil because it gives me more flexibility as far as covering surface area at the same time as building up marks. You can do long marks, curved, short, whatever you need to do to build up that texture. And the more times you repeat that particular mark, the uh, more each individual mark set turns into an overall texture for a tree. So what you want to be, you want to be general about your value and your approach, but you want to be specific about how you get there. So you're choosing a specific texture for each tree type and switching as you go along. And you also notice that I picked a few trunks that are landmarks and a few bushes down at the bottom that are kind of a bit distinctive. So I can kind of use those as anchor points when I progress throughout the drawing. Um, and you'll see that there are certain areas toward the edge that kind of were a little underdeveloped. So while I'm still in, in the generic general stages, uh, I want to go and pay attention to those before, um, before I progress too far. Um, so in the next part of the video, we'll get uh, into some more details about how to actually make this a finished project. And that should be coming out tomorrow. The uh, main thing about finishing from here is that you begin to be specific about particular edges, particular trees, and choose some focal points to draw attention to areas that are rendered specifically very 